The Nintendo Switch has now been out for over four years. Although I love this system to absolute pieces, there are some things that can be improved or added. This is my personal list of things I think the Switch needs, not most wanted critically. Without further ado, these are five things the Nintendo Switch needs. Starting off, a Pro Controller would be nice to have with the console right out of the box. The Joy-Cons, apart from a lot of them drifting, including mine, they're okay, but I don't find them comfortable to play with on their own or when put in the controller grip, and the buttons are just too small for me. That's where the Pro Controller comes in, which is probably the best controller I've ever used. Only problem with it is, it's expensive. I know most controllers are, but Sony and Microsoft's consoles come with comfortable regular controllers right out of the box. I know the Joy-Cons are the whole point of one of the Switch's many features, even so, it is a little annoying that I had to shell out extra money for a comfortable controller, which is more expensive than say a PS4 controller or heck even a PS5 controller. Next up, why is there no home screen themes on the Switch yet? The 3DS has had them for years, and heck they even have ones themed after games for the Switch. Why? The Switch still has only the two standard light and dark themes. With the Switch being out for as long as it has now, I thought Nintendo would have jumped on this sooner. Please can we have them Nintendo? Here look, I'll do it for you. See? Not difficult, it's just a picture. Here's one I know annoys a lot of people, full pricing old games. First, no, I'm not talking about Skyward Sword HD here. Honestly that makes sense to me because it's been put in HD and with added button controls, and they did some quality of life improvements. I'm more so talking about third party games. For example, when Doom 2016 finally came to the Switch, it was full price. Problem is that this game was a fifth of the price of that in a year since I bought it for £10 brand new for the PS4 from retail. I know this point can be countered with, well not everyone will have a PlayStation, PC or Xbox. Yes, true, but even so, that's a hefty price for a game that has had a major price drop on other platforms and won't look as good on Switch. I understand it's now on a portable system, but that's the only feature there is. To me, that's not worth a full price admission. Another one that bugs a lot of people, including me, there's no Virtual Console. I know Nintendo Switch Online, NES and SNES is a thing, but I don't like it and here's why. I don't like subscription services. I never have. I'm a one-time buyer and I like the feeling of owning something rather than paying for it monthly or yearly and it never being mine for good. On top of that, Nintendo has been terrible at trickling out games for it. Like, have you seen what they've done recently? They're just not, not many people are bothered about these games. Especially when they're only NES and SNES games. I'm not hating on NES and SNES games, I love them, they're great. But we've had them several times. The Wii, 3DS and Wii U all got them. What everyone wants now is N64, GameCube, DS and 3DS. Because the people who grew up with those games are getting nostalgic for them now. Including myself because I grew up in those eras of Nintendo games. On top of that, I never had a GameCube back then like a lot of people. And although I've had one for a few years now, the console and games are expensive today as they've become more retro since they've gotten older. Nintendo has proven that they have a working GameCube emulator for the Switch with Super Mario Sunshine in Mario 3D All-Stars, and although emulation isn't the way we'd all want games to be ported, it's better than nothing at all. Plus, the Wii U did get DS games, so I'd like to see them come to the Switch as well because that is the only place other than the DS itself that they've been. Lastly, the thing I want the Switch to not have is gimmicks. Now, okay, I should clarify, I love the Switch for its features, it's great, but for the last three console generations for Nintendo consoles, they've tried out new ways to play, which on the one hand is innovative and interesting, however, I kind of wish they'd stopped doing it after the Switch. I like playing a game with either a regular controller in hand or a mouse and keyboard. The Wii, Wii U and Switch all have motion controls and, to be honest, I'm kind of tired of it at this point. This is going back to my point earlier about not getting a normal controller out of the box, you get the one that the console utilises unique features of. I know this probably won't ever happen, but I'd love Nintendo to just make a regular home console again, like the GameCube, which has been one of my favourites for a while now. The controller for that system is close to perfect. Plus, another thing, the reason why I say this mostly is because with Nintendo systems, they really lose their power when they go for gimmicks. Like, the Switch is a, it's a great system, but it's nowhere near as powerful as, say, a PS4, Xbox One, or, or now, even more so, a PS5 or Xbox Series X. And you really start to see the Switch's cracks, which really sucks. I mean, have you seen Dead by Daylight on the Switch? Oh my goodness gracious, it's <laughs> it does not look great and it's very sad. Now, I know that point is just a me thing, but it's just like a personal little preference. I, I think it'd be cool to see them make a like nice, powerful piece of kit again. I don't know, I do love the Switch, but I'd kind of like to see what they could do again with just a regular console. So what did you all think of my list of things the Switch needs? Do you agree, disagree, or have any of your own that I missed? Please let me know. 
that's all for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye!